Atwater Brewing Company, Liedergosen, I hope I said that right, German style wheat beer brewed with sea salt, coriander, and cherries, 4.2% alcohol, let's give it a shot. The beer smells amazing, it's got a really strong cherry flavor, scent, but it, 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 it just smells awesome. The beer itself, it's a wheat beer, it feels more on the light, kind of light lagery side, it's got a really strong kick of almost sour, almost tart. It's not the cherries. I feel like it's the, the sea salt. And the cherries just kind of make it and enhance that sea salt into that almost sour realm, that tart category. But overall, it's not a sour beer and it's not a tart ale. It's just the way that it com combines in the brew that I think it, it gives off this very subtle, almost borderline tart effect but ultimately the cherries are really nice the coriander however i'm not sure exactly where the coriander falls in or if i i'm sure i'm tasting it somewhere i just i can't pinpoint it i get the sea salt i get this almost like lime effect and then i taste the cherries ultimately do they blend completely well together no they're very distinguishable throughout the, the taste it's almost separated they don't really blend together do they mesh well together? Yeah, I, I can see that they, they complement each other quite well. However, you do taste each individual flavor as you're tasting the beer. The beer itself, it's a wheat beer. Again, it's it's kind of light, almost lagery. It's not heavy at all. And I just wish that the cherry just kind of, it does pop, but I, I wish it had a little bit more sweetness to it so it would take away from that tart, sour, ale kind of flavor. My drinkability, I could see having two or three of these. Again, it just falls on that weird kind of tart, sour ale kind of line. And I don't think it's intentional. I think it's just that the way that the sea salt complements the cherries, and I kind of feel like it brings out this almost lime, citrusy flavor. And I don't, I don't, I don't think it was intended that way, but that's where, that's where it falls. I see this more of a warm month beer just with the fruit and the sea salt in it. It just kind of screams something like a fruity, almost light lager that you would get for the beach that leans on the tart side. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give this a 6. It's not something I would steer away from, but it's I don't see this as me going back to it. I just I like Atwater Brewing Company, so that's the only reason I think I would go after this, especially if I saw it on tap or something like that at a beach bar or maybe like an outdoor bar, somewhere where it's hot, somewhere where you can actually enjoy the weather. Something like this would be re quite refreshing. But all in all, it's different. You don't get many cherry beers, and this one, you really do get this nice cherry flavor. It doesn't, it doesn't feel artificial. It almost feels almost candy-like. So again, that's Atwater Brewing Company, Liedergosen. German-style wheat beer with sea salt, coriander, and cherries, 4.2% alcohol.